Good day, Merry Meet. My name is Glennis and I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. I want to warmly welcome you to my channel and I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm doing very, very well. I'm happy, of course. I'm healthy, thankfully. I'm still working from home and I'm just so thrilled to be here. You guys know me. I think you know me and I'm just so thrilled. I actually had someone ask me about my Rose of Jericho and I wanted to share with you <laughs> um, what I'm going to do actually is drop a link in the description box uh, to my how I work my Rose of Jericho and I probably could have redone the video uh, but for time's sake I'm just going to drop a link below and and I've honestly never watched the video, so I have, n have no idea. It could be just the worst video ever in the world. But I had actually looked, uh, I've had a few comments on a few really old videos. And I'm talking, when I'm, when I'm talking really old, I'm talking a year ago when I first started my channel, which has been a, a year. I've been on YouTube a year now. But, um... And I, of course, answered in any question or any comment or anything like that because, I mean, anyway, that's another that's another video. <laughs> but um, they went way way back, and I just so happens I watched the video and I was mortified. <laughs> it was so bad. So I think that there's some that I'm going to have to just totally redo. But for this particular one, I'm going to just drop a link in the description box for the Rose of Jericho. But I wanted to share with you what has been in my Rose of Jericho. And uh, I want to kind of maybe share a little bit with you uh, why. So it's kind of going from <laughs> one to the other. But the first thing I found, and it made my heart just absolutely sing, is my piece of Moldavite. And you guys know I have a ring and I do have earrings and uh, little things here and there. And I just absolutely, it, this is one of my favorite, favorite of all time. It's not a stone or a crystal. It's actually technically an impact glass. But nonetheless, it has more energy than you would ever imagine. Um, so you can really... Put it in your in your palm in your hand and sit and work with it and uh, either meditate or if you have a mantra and i can tell you the warmth it immediately is warm and it will be warm in the in your palm and so i very often always will be wearing my ring um very often i will put it in my wallet uh, and, and it's just depending, but um, I'm not, I'm never far away from my Moldavite, so I just absolutely love it. And I have a piece of tourmaline here, and now tourmaline, which I'm going to just hit the, hit the next thing, I, I'm going to, because I'm going to get off on a tangent on this one, but tourmaline, and I have a metal here. Uh, after my grandmother passed, uh, I found a plethora of religious medals, crosses, I mean, just all kinds of things. She uh, and my grandfather were Catholic. And this is a touched relic that is in a, in a charm of St. Elizabeth and I don't know if it's Seton or Seton. Uh, she is actually the first... Catholic that opened a Catholic school and she so she is the patron saint of Catholic schools she is the patron saint of widowers and seafarers and I don't know if this was my grandmother's or my grandfather's I'm thinking it was my my grandmother's uh, because I know there were so many others and this meant so much to her but now I understand, now I understand why she had it and kept it close to her because it is the patron saint of seafarers. And my grandfather 
was a tugboat pilot captain. And so there you go. And uh, actually come from a long line of seafaring people, I guess, living on the Gulf Coast, it's bound to happen. But um, so there you go. So I, I've had this and I'm absolutely, I'm not really exactly sure how, how I'm going to carry it with me or on me. I'm not quite sure, but at some point in time, absolutely. But I had this piece of tourmaline. And tourmaline actually means stones of various colors. It's used for protection, grounding, and shielding. And I've used, uh, of course, I have an, a different one here that you, you guys have probably seen here and there uh, on some of my banishment spells and uh, things like that because this will absolutely shield you from psychic attack from someone else and it's an incredible stone for protection. You can cleanse it with water if you need to, although please don't use holy water because um, the salt content in, wa in holy water, uh, just a little bit of Maybe a little bit of moon water really is all you need for cleansing. But to charge it, all you need to do, if you're working uh, in your altar, in your sacred space, all you have to do, of course, is have your tourmaline and light a black candle, if I can. And, you know, just, again, like I, like I do with the Moldavite, just sit with your tourmaline and close your eyes, but I, you guys don't want to see me sit here and meditate. Close your eyes and, and sit quietly and focus on your breath. Of course, if you're going into meditation, that's what you're going to be doing anyway, but focus on your breath and some nice, nice deep breaths. And think about all of the work that it's going to be doing for you, repelling and dispelling any kind of negativity. And as you feel the connection, and again, this is this may take longer, may only take a very, very short period of time. It, it really depends on you and the connection that you're feeling. I clear and banish all unwanted and negative energies from this environment. Thank you. Thank you to your God. Thank you to your goddess, whoever. But absolutely, no matter what you are doing with cleansing and charging your crystals, always be very thankful and verbally thank. You can wear this as jewelry. Um, again, charge your jewelry or whatever it is that you have in the same way that I just did. Um, you can hold this. Uh, if you don't have jewelry, if you just have this, hold this and sit in meditation. If you have a body ache, a headache, uh, something like that, hold it uh, to your head, wherever your headache is, you or, or your body, if you have, and, med and in meditation, of course, and try to visualize the energy that is putting back into your body. And this is incredibly valuable to repel negativity, which is why I keep it... Uh, I have actually more <laughs> in my altar. So any negativity, either whether it comes through, which of course I'm not having company come in, but if you have company coming in, it will absolutely repel any kind of negativity uh, in your workplace. Again, I know, I realize a lot of us are not working at our workplace, but if you're working from home, you may want to keep a piece of this by your electronics. Again, to repel any kind of negativity that could come in through your way, but just sit and meditate with it. 
and visualize. And again, this is all about this and yourself. Visualize repelling any and all negativity. I hope this has helped you guys. I actually, honestly hope that each and every one of you is doing well. Please, please stay safe and stay healthy. Merry part, and I hope to merry meet again. Goodbye, guys.